Hey guys, my name is Sunny Dele Awa and welcome to Dear Young Christian. James 5.16 Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Have y'all ever noticed that at parties people don't like to dance unless it gets really dark? <laughs> there, there's just something about darkness that makes us feel really comfortable. There's something about darkness that makes us feel hidden. There's something about darkness that makes us feel just a little bit bolder, especially when it comes to sin. May I submit to you that the reason why we seem to be struggling with the same sins over and over again is because we're still letting that sin sit in the dark. We have not told that sin to anybody. We have not talked about that sin with our mentor or with our group of friends. Now, secrecy seems safe and keeping our sins in the dark seems comfortable, but at the end of the day, it's gonna do more harm than good. One of the ways the devil plays us as Christians is by keeping us in secrecy. If we just keep everything to ourselves and if we don't tell anybody about the things that we're struggling with, and if we just pray about it in our own little corner, then, you know, everything's going to be okay and everything's going to work out just fine. But the way God made us, we need to be accountable to somebody. We need to have somebody checking on us and making sure that we're still standing strong in the faith. And that's why community, I've said this in so many videos, community is so important. We cannot neglect it. We cannot um, shortchange ourselves on the community that we have. If the devil can get us not to talk to anybody else about what we're struggling with, if the devil can keep us in the dark about the things that constantly trip us up, then he remains in control and you can never have control of that sin. Now, I'm not saying that you need to share with everybody in the world that you're struggling with pornography. And I'm not saying that you need to tell everybody that you lie a lot and you don't know why. Um, but we need to at least tell those who we consider close to us, those people who we can trust. In doing so, we take that sin out of the darkness and we bring it into the light. And then we allow that community that we have told to pray for us and to keep us accountable and to check on us and to be able to help us in order to overcome that sin. We, we cannot do it by ourselves. And the devil tells us that we can do it by ourselves. But we were not created to do it by ourselves. We're created to do this Christian race with a community. We're created to do it with other people holding us accountable. If something is keeping us away from God, if something has that kind of stronghold over us, then it's pretty powerful and we have to be able to get control of it, but we cannot do that by ourselves. We need a community. We need to get that secret into the light and, and expose it. And, and by doing that, we are then able to overcome and we can live a free life and we can walk in freedom. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope y'all have an amazing day and remember, it's very possible to be safe and successful. Bye!